All right, so greetings. My name is Godnir. I am with the Lao Cry Missionaries. And today I just want to share um, this brief information with you guys. I pray that it will be a blessing. And also in this information that we may see and have an understanding just how much God loves us. He loves us and he is interested in every aspect of our well-being. And I pray that we would adhere um, to his words and allow him to work within us as well. So let's start off with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. God, we also want to thank you for the love that you have for for us. <laughs> uh, we have not yet understood why it is that you, you care so much and you take such a deep interest in every aspect of our lives. I pray that you would give us the strength um, to allow you to come in, to work, and also, Lord, that we would be obedient to your principles uh, that are there for our own benefits and also that we may glorify you in the process of doing so. May you be, the Holy Spirit will be with me as I present this information and also to be with the listeners. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. God's health plan for you and I. And why is it that God cares so much? Listen, I don't have the explanation. What I do know is that God loves you. He loves you. He loves you with a love that is stronger than death. And he he wants you to be to be well in every aspect of your life. Well, how do you prove that? Well, in terms of health, and this is a, one of a, a known text, 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. The Word of God says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. God wants for us to be in good health. You know, when we're not in good health, when there's dis-ease, presence, and there's infirmities or, or so on and so forth, we suffer. But it hurts God when we, it hurts Him when we are suffering. I, I, I want you to understand that God hurts when we are hurting. So He sets out this health plan for you and I, this health, these health principles that if we were to hear, we would see a change in our lives. Now, what is health? Many people, as well as the web, would um, define health as a state of physical, mental, and social well-being where there is an absence of disease or infirmities. Now, those are, those are, it's a, that's a nice definition, but I want to let you know Towards the end, we're going to talk about what is the most important aspect, excuse me, of health. And then we will go from there. Now, what is this health plan? What is this health, what are, what are these health principles that God has for you and I? Well, it is summarized in the acronym New Start. New Start. N is for nutrition. E is for exercise. W is for water. S is for sunlight. T is for temperance, A is for air, R is for rest, and the other T is for trust in God. Now, nutrition. We are, they usually, they tell you this a lot. You know, you are what you eat. Well, guys, what we put in our body will manifest itself physically. Um, it, will, it will show mentally, emotionally, and so on. Because diet has such an impact on everything. Your gut what you're putting in has such an impact on, on every part of our body, it is important that we watch what we put in. And just know, studies have shown that a plant-based diet is actually the best diet and the best way to go. We're looking at you know lowering blood pressure, the effects of it, um, lowering uh, high blood, high, lowering blood pressure, 
as well as lowering, lowering cholesterol, you can literally reverse type 2 diabetes with a plant-based diet. And there are so many testimonials of people, even with autoimmune disease, who, where they changed their diet, seeing a change, and also were able to control and, and to have to live a better functioning life. And if also you want extra um, proof and research, you can watch What the Health, as well as Fork Over Knives, and there are many more. Exercise is major. Some people exercise because they want bigger muscles. Some people exercise because, you know, they, they want to have that endurance. Exercise um, helps this, this one of these major organs in our body, which is your cardiovascular system, your heart. Your heart needs to function properly. It needs to function at its best. So when you're exercising, you're also helping your heart. And why is it important for you to help your heart? Because it pumps blood through the rest of your body, right? So that's important. Then we have water. You know, guys, there's a lot of things we can live in this world without. Water it's just not one of them both literally and spiritually we can't live in this you can't live this life without Christ and you cannot live without water you can't live this life without Christ nope it doesn't matter what you do without Christ in your life you're not living my friend now why is water important important well water your blood really appreciates when you drink water because then it does it's not sticky. Your body appreciates when you drink water because it can flush out the toxins that are in your body that is there that's there to cause damage. Right? And then I want y'all, you know, to comment below as well. What percentage of your body is made up of water? What percentage of your blood is made up of water? And um, also how much water is recommended for you to consume in ounces. Now, we'll go to sunlight, the S. Sun, the sun, helps us to get vitamin D. Why? Because when the sun interacts with the skin, it knows what to do, it does its thing. But why, does, why is vitamin D important? Because it helps also to regulate your immune system. It helps to regulate your immune system and helps calcium but also promote bone growth. I know they tell you to stay inside and not go outside and shelter in place. So you're out here missing vitamin D. And unlike other vitamins, vitamin D you can't get from your diet. You can only get it from the sun, which is why you need to go outside and get that sunlight. T for temperance. You need to be temperate. Temperate. You need to do things in moderation. You can't stay out in the sun all day. You'll get sunburned um, and even put yourself at risk for sun cancer you cannot over exercise your heart or you should not over exercise your heart some people will do it you should not over exercise your heart and also you should be moderate in the things you eat the time you eat you don't eat too much you don't eat too less and so on and so forth and so forth moderation temperance self-control then we have A for air. I know they told you guys to cover your face, wear a mask, but you need oxygen. Oxygen, your cells, every cell in your body needs that oxygen. And your blood will thank you and your immune system will thank you for that oxygen. And when you get the oxygen in, you need to breathe out carbon dioxide. Don't keep it in. So that mask makes no sense. And especially while you're exercising, guys, research these things because the devil is out to kill to kill us are for rest you know we are in we live in a society that's always moving in a country that's always moving it doesn't have time to rest people are working two three jobs two three jobs also going to school and so on and so forth but your body needs a time to recuperate to re-energize to rejuvenate you know when you when you've been working say you work four days straight when you get that one day oh your body thanks you for it and then you feel more relaxed because you're able to take a break which is which is also why god gave us 
a day of rest, which is the seventh day, Saturday, Sabbath, so that our body can take a rest from all our work and our labor. That is huge. That is important. And also, if you're not, if you're not sleeping the right amount of time, or the, the right amount of hours you're supposed to sleep, you will see that, you know, you have headaches. Um, you'll be clumsy. You know, your brain is fuzzy. Your memory is fuzzy and so on and so forth. Then, the last part, and certainly not least, because you know you saved the best for last, right? The last T is for trust in God. Before, I mentioned how many people will say physical, mental, and also um, spiritual. I mean, physical, mental, and social well-being is the aspect, the most important aspects of health. I want to let you know that spiritual, the spiritual aspect is the most important part of health. When you are spiritually healthy, it will show physically, it will show mentally, it will show emotionally, it will show socially, and it will continue. Because when you and God are like this, and you are obedient to his word and you're trusting in him and you're doing your part, he will certainly do his. So it is important that we take that last one because it holds all the other ones together. Trust in God because the devil, like I said, is trying to kill us. The devil poisons. He's poisoning the food, the water, the air, but when you trust in God and you let God know, okay, this is what you have asked me to do. This is what I'm seeing. But I rather obey you. And you're you're putting your trust and your obedience, you're doing what he has said. I can guarantee you God will do his part. He's not a liar. God, 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 guys, God is not a liar. He's far from being a liar. The devil will tell you that you don't need to eat the right food. The devil will tell you you don't need to exercise. He will tell you, okay, you, you don't need to drink this water. You don't need the living water. He will, he will tell you, all right, the sunlight is not important. He will, he will tell you, oh, it's okay, you can remain in darkness. The sunlight is not important. He will tell you you don't need to be temperate in these things. He will let you know, nah, you could keep... You could keep this mask on so that you don't breathe properly. He'll let you know you don't need the rest. You can keep going. You're an energizer bunny. You keep going. But I'm letting you know that God is letting, given us these health plans. And that if we adhere to them, not only are you glorifying God because you are being obedient, but also... You will reap the benefit because truly God has our best interests at heart. So I pray, you know, that this was a blessing and that by God's grace, we will go deeper. We will dive deeper into what is the purpose of each letter of the acronym. acronym. Remember, New Start, N for nutrition, E for exercise, W for water, S for sunlight, T for temperance, A for air, R for rest, and the last one, trust in God, trust in God, trust in God, trust in God, and he will keep you. Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord, that you will help us to trust in you, to believe your word, to be obedient. Lord, faith comes by hearing. Increase our faith, I pray. And as we hear these principles and we, we practice them, that we may see the benefits in our lives. For this I pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Later, God.